Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Volmages. Bring you some commentary, but this time it's live. I'm showing you a, a video of me live right now. But anyway, uh, I've had some requests uh, some, from some of my friends and some people on YouTube to uh, do a video on like my games and stuff like that. So I just wanted to show you the games that I own, and I want to uh, tell you if I, you know, I recommend them or you know anything. You know, just just things of this nature. You know, because I, I do have a bunch of games and. People, you know, want to know what I own, and you know, they wanted me to do a video of this. So we're getting started, and let's get started. So first game we got is Fallout New Vegas. Um, boy, this thing is dusty. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna be rating these games um one through five, and five being the best, one being don't even think about buying it. Uh, and if it's a if it's a one, then I don't freaking own it because I don't buy ones. <laughs> so, um, like I said, Fallout New Vegas, um, definitely one of my favorite games of all time, mainly because it's a great game. It's it's uh, you know you get your you get your money's worth out of this game. I'm and I'm a big fan of RPGs. I'm gonna give it a four out of five. Uh, five being the best, like I said, and uh, the reason I didn't give it a a five is because some people don't like RPGs. I mean, I love an RPG. Some people don't, so I'm gonna give it a four. Most games you won't go, you ain't gonna get a five, because the fact of the matter is, you know, not everybody likes this kind of stuff. But uh, it's a great game. I definitely rec recommend you buy it if you got the money. Uh, but uh, if you don't, rent it, rent it, and uh, you know, it's a great game. So yeah. So the next game we got is. What do you know? Fallout 3. Um, Fallout 3, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 because I'm a huge fan of Fallout. I'm a huge fan of Fallout. Definitely one of my favorite uh, series of uh, games of all time. Uh, I never got into the 1 or 2, but I got into 3 very much. And uh, it's not, in my mind, Fallout 3 is just as good as New Vegas. Um, and it's an awesome game. I definitely re recommend it. So um, it's 4 out of 5. If you get the money. Definitely check it out. And this game is probably cheap too. Fallout 3. Because it's a really old game. So yeah. Next thing we got is. This is not in order by any means. Because you can see it's not it's not in order anyway. But um, this is uh, Smackdown vs. Uh, Raw 2011. Um, I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Mainly because they, <laughs> they release these games every year. And yes, you could say Call of Duty is the same thing too, but um, I like Call of Duty more because I'm a big multiplayer thing and, and I have friends and stuff. And and uh, I mean, you could do the same thing with this kind of game, but uh, I'm not a big fan of fighting games. Like I am, but not wrestling. I was into it, now I'm out of it. So I'm gonna give it a three. Um, maybe you rent it, but I don't really recommend you buy it. If you do buy it, um, definitely buy the the newest version. Because uh, they do come out with these every year, and they're not really uh, anything different. So, I mean, they add, like, a couple characters. But anyway, let's go to the next one. This video might be long, so I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Saint Row. Saints Row. Uh, I'm going to give this a 4 out of 5. Uh, definitely one of my favorite games. Uh, not a favorite, but it's definitely one up there. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's in that area. Close to it. Um, the reason I bought Saints Row is because I'm a big fan of uh, Grand Theft Auto. And I'm waiting for number 5 to come out. But, you know, they've it takes them like five years to make one game, which is okay because the games are freaking awesome. So, I bought this game because it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto. It's definitely like, it's like <laughs> fake cocaine. It works, but it only works for so long. You feel me? So, it's definitely a game. If, you, if you're waiting for the new uh, Grand Theft Auto, this game will definitely hold you over. Okay? Next game we got. We got Rage. Um, I'm going to give this a 3 out of 5. I like the game, but the problem with me in certain games is they're too short. I don't like any game that I can beat within a day or two. I, that's why I like RPGs, because RPGs usually last you about a week or two. So, that's why I like them. You get your money's worth. This game, I got about two days worth out of it. It's a great game. Uh, I would only recommend it if you like this kind of stuff. It's kind of like a, um, a survival game, almost like... You have story and everything, and you get to like race cars and kill enemies and snipe, and that's all kind of cool stuff. Um, no multiplayer. Um, I mean, the only multiplayer you can play is like co co op uh, story, which is okay, but I never got into that kind of stuff. But uh, definitely a great game. Uh, just run it because you can beat it within like two or three days, so yeah. Okay, um, LA Noir. Uh, I'm going to give this a three out of five. 
Uh, I'm sorry for all the threes, but you know I'm very uh, mystic. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you know these games, I like them. And Eleanor, I didn't really like, but it was a good game if you're in that kind of stuff. It's like a cop kind of game. Grand Theft Auto, kind of like, but not like so serious. Like it's kind of like a washed down version. Like you can't be so aggressive and kill people and kill hookers and take their money and whatever. But it's still a good game. Uh, definitely mean if you like. Um, CSI kind of cop kind of thing. Definitely a game for you. Definitely a good game. So now we got uh, Need for Speed. This is a uh, GameStop game. And uh, it's Hot Pursuit for the Xbox. I paid 50 bucks for this game. And I didn't like it. Uh, if you like Need for Speed, uh, it's definitely a cool game. But I'm not uh, a big fan of racing games. I used to be into it. Not anymore. So I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. Uh, not a bad game, but definitely not my favorite Need for Speed. My favorite Need for Speed of all time is Need for Speed Most Wanted. My favorite racing game of all time. It's next to Mario Kart, but that's a different story. Now we have Batman uh, Arkham City. Okay. And I love this game. I love Batman. I love anything that has to do with comics and that kind of stuff. I love that. It's freaking awesome. Four out of five every time. Beast freaking game. Um, I loved it. It's just beast. Definitely buy this game. It's freaking awesome. Uh, we got uh, Batman Arkham uh, City. Or not Arkham City. Arkham Asylum. That was last game. Uh, <laughs> definitely a great game. Um, you should definitely buy this game before you buy uh, Batman uh, Arkham City. Because this game is freaking awesome and it's just as good as Arkham City. Not better, but this is good in my mind. So now we have uh, Assassin's Creed, and this game, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I've played all the Assassin's Creed. This is probably one of my favorites. Uh, it's not the best in my mind. Uh, the first one was the best, and then the new one that's coming out. I don't know. I forget Assassin's Creed Four probably be the best. Uh, but this is a good game. I'm gonna give it a four to five just this one because the other ones are kind of like yeah this one's pretty good definitely recommend that you buy the assassin's creed game they're really good games they're almost i think i don't know if they're rpgs but they are very long and they do get your money's worth of the game so yeah smackdown versus raw 2010 i'm gonna give this a three out of five do i, I mean they're all the same really i mean they add like two or three characters every year or something like that thing not really a good game i mean it's all right okay uh Crackdown 2, another used game. Uh, a good game. Uh, I'm going to give it a 2 out of 5. I didn't really get into it. didn't really like it. So I don't really make, recommend you buy it. I bought it. Super decision. I won't do it again. So whatever. Peace. Whatever. So now we got Modern Warfare 3. Okay. Well, this game, um, definitely a good game. But it's not my favorite Call of Duty. So I'm going to give it a 3 out of 5. And the reason I give it a 3 out of 5 is because they come up with these every year. And some of, most of them are pretty shit. <laughs> I mean, I'm being honest. The game is alright. I'm not complaining about it. I mean, but it's not my favorite. And it never will be. So yeah. Oh yeah, the next game. Black Ops 2. I just got done watching Black Ops 2 multiplayer. Freaking love it. Can't wait. Black Ops, I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5 because I actually like this game. The only part I didn't like about this game is they didn't have sniping right. Uh, if they would have had sniping, this game would have definitely been one of my favorite Call of Duty's. But they didn't. So I can't give it a 5. I just can't do it. Definitely a good game. But not my favorite of all time. It's a good game, though. Good game. <laughs> now we're moving to my favorite Call of Duty of all time. And people ask me, why is it your favorite Call of Duty? I'm going to tell you why it's my favorite Call of Duty. Call of Duty 4. Because it was my first Call of Duty. Meaning, my first experience. Uh... My first sex, in a sense, if you understand where I'm coming from. My first Coca-Cola, in a sense. This game is my favorite Call of Duty. It will always be my favorite Call of Duty. I don't care. It will always be my favorite Call of Duty. So, I love you, Call of Duty 4. And I'm going to give you a 5 out of 5 because I love you. Recommend you buy it. It's only $20. Call of Duty World at War. Or Call of Duty 5, whatever you want to call it. I actually like this game. This game was fun. This was like... One of my favorite Call of Duty's. Now, I don't know. I can't really put them in numbers. Mainly because there's so many of them. And I just can't really decide. But this is definitely a good game. I recommend you buy it. The only thing I don't recommend about it is it's hacked. And Call of Duty Force hacked too. So 
you know, if you're going to buy the game for the multiplayer, you're kind of screwed. But if you haven't played it, just get it for the store. It's only like $20. This is a great game. Uh, Call of Duty 4 is a great game, too. Definitely buy it. It's only $20. I'm going to give it a 4, a 5. Not 5 because it's not Call of Duty 4. It's definitely up there. Definitely one of my favorite qualities. 